Sean Ames here from Heart of America FPV and uh, there's been a lot of discussion on the internet lately about the uh, global qualifier track I've got it set up I didn't fill out the worksheet because it's literally just for me to practice we did hold a global qualifier here but I didn't like leave the track up I, I took it down and I just put it back up this week to get some practice in for now it's set up and I think it's pretty close to spec because I want to practice a spec track because I'm gonna have to fly a spec track there's been a lot of talk on Facebook the internet elsewhere about guy wires for the double gates and without getting into like all of the minutia surrounding that being a, a chapter organizer who put on a global qualifier i can say that the fact that the guy wires were a requirement was very clear in all of the communication and super clear in the official diagram the uh you know the diagram and the worksheet to put up the track so the guy wires were absolutely a requirement and week six was our week the first time we hosted a global qualifier it was the one that was here i actually pushed back quite a bit because i had already seen some dvr where there were not guy wires so in my opinion on week six they should have just dropped the requirement because guy wires on a double gate at this point in time are kind of silly the purpose of this video isn't really to talk about whether or not guy wires were required on the track they were required it was really obvious what this video is gonna be about is why in the future we should never have to mess with guy wires again because it's super easy to build a stackable gate without guy wires so let's walk out here to the gates and uh, I'll show you how I set them up how easy it is they're not that expensive either so you definitely have some options when it comes to how to do this exactly uh, my buddy Mondo hooked me up with some um, maker pipe first time I'd actually put my hands on this and uh, I was really really surprised by how nice it was so that double tower the actual split s gate I made with maker pipe this one though I made with these I was able to 3d print some hinges now this hinge is like you got a spot to put the EMT in and you've got a spot that it goes through and that's that's really important so this is essentially the same thing as the maker pipe but I was able to 3d print it in TPU this double gate I've essentially had outside since January and uh, looking pretty good let's take it down real quick and I'll show you what it's all about So that was pretty easy and pretty uneventful, but I did want to show you the first thing you absolutely have to get right if you want to have a double gate without guy wires is a good rebar. So I'm using big, fat, I think it's quarter inch rebar, maybe even thicker than that. It's also super long, so I'm able to drive it super deep into the ground. I still have good support. Like there's a lot of strength there. It's not going to fall over without bending something. The second thing I do is kind of an easy Lowe's hack, and that's these round electrical box cover things from Lowe's. I actually buy them beat the middle hole out of it I slide that down over the rebar like that so that the EMT won't sink into the ground I noticed early on that if I leave my gates out for a long time the EMT will actually slowly sink into the ground I don't want my five foot gate to be a four foot gate so it's kind of important but the next thing is that the bottom half of my double gate is actually made out of EMT so it's two full sticks are the sides so those are each 10 feet long you see this so you got the gate here's my 3d printed T connector and then it extends up another four feet above the gate and it does that on both sides and then I have a seven foot section or you cut that to length essentially it's a normal way to make a gate with EMT so you lay out your gate cut that middle one to link it runs across there so you have a completely EMT bottom half of the gate so I had made a double gate out of all EMT uh, earlier this year and I had just like put couplers on the ends and made it extra tall and and those gates stood fine but then Kevin Turner I saw him post this next idea and I thought it was brilliant and made it way easier to put up take down do maintenance on all the above and that is essentially leave the 10 foot EMT long and then for the top half of the gate actually build it out of one inch PVC so this is one inch PVC PVC like you would build for a normal gate completely normal nothing special about it and you literally just slide the top gate onto the EMT of the bottom gate and stand the sucker up so the one downfall of these 3d printed fittings that I made they are super tight at first and obviously you can scale them a little bit to make them tighter or looser in your printing software but there's a spot you could put it like a self-tapping screw in if you wanted one of the guys in Hannibal when we were setting up the track he came up with the idea just to put zip ties above and below it and it keeps it from shifting up and down because once again we don't want our five foot gate to turn into a four foot gate so I'll put a link to these hinges in the description of this video so be sure and check that out if you want to go get some maker pipe 
Now hopefully this helps us in the future to where we don't have to have guy wires on gates. Here I have a perfectly stable double gate and this is what I have to do to practice uh, just so I'm practicing the right line. Absolutely silly. So in the future maybe we won't have to have guy wires because uh, we start building the bottom half of our gates out of EMT. So if you've got some ideas of how to build double gates or different obstacles or uh, maybe a dive gate. I've got a dive gate solution I'm going to be sharing with you guys soon. So if you've got any ideas like that be sure and share them with us. But nonetheless I hope this helped you out. I hope that we can move into a world of no more guy wires. But I'm going to get this gate back together so we will catch you next time on Heart of America FPV. Later.